I'm not sure who this interview uh, is with, but Tucker is part of a new documentary where he talks about being attacked by a demon in the middle of the night, like a year and a half ago. Now this clip cut runs kind of long, but it is gripping like it will mm -hmm. it goes so fast because it's so intense and it it was so surprising to hear the story from tucker and also so disarming in a way to hear him just say i don't care if people don't believe me and mm -hmm. i don't know i don't understand it and i don't claim to it just is what happened and that's that right and i just have all the respect in the world for him for just saying it like that mm -hmm. um and if you have not heard the story yet Hold on to your seats. The presence of evil is kickstarting people to wonder about the good. That's what happened to me. That's what happened to you? Oh, yeah. I had a direct uh, experience with it. In the milieu of journalism or just? Nope. In my bed at night. And I got attacked while I was asleep with my wife and four dogs in the bed and mauled. <laughs> Physically mauled. Um, in a spiritual attack by a demon? Yeah, by a demon or by something unseen that left. Is that right? Uh, claw marks on my sides, on my- So it left physical marks. Oh, they're still there. Yeah, yeah. A year and a half ago. Was your wife terrified? I know you were. I wasn't, I was totally confused. I woke up and I was couldn't breathe and I thought I was gonna suffocate and I walked around outside and then I walked in and my wife and dogs had not woken up and they're very light sleepers. And then I had these terrible pains on my rib cage and on my shoulder and I was just in my boxer shorts and I went and flipped on the light in the bathroom and I had cl four claw marks on either side underneath my arms and on my left shoulder. And they're bleeding. Wait, they were bleeding? They were bleeding, yeah. No, no actual claw marks. And I sleep on my side, so I wasn't clawing myself. I don't have long nails. <laughs> um, and they didn't fit my hands anyway. But yeah, that happened. So I, I don't, I'm not from a world where things like that happen. I never heard of anything like that happening before. I had no idea what that was. I knew it was spiritual immediately. You did? Okay, that was gonna be my question. Yeah. I, well, I don't understand to this you, day. I'm not gonna you, put it you didn't. Word. You didn't try to refute the spiritual part in your own mind. It went, you went right into the- Well, idea. it didn't make any sense and right. it doesn't now. Um, so, but I'm not from a, what do they call it? Faith tradition right. that, um, talks about things like that or even acknowledges their existence. Like there's nothing like that. I've, I've never heard anybody say anything like that in my whole life. What was the next day like? Well, the next morning I woke up and I thought that was the weirdest dream I've ever had. And then I saw blood on my sheets and I realized that was not a dream at all. That's crazy. So I called my assistant who was like the only evangelical Christian I know, you know, well enough to call with something bizarre like that, but totally bizarre like that. And uh, she said, oh yeah, no, 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 that happens. Yeah, people are attacked in their bed by demons. What? <laughs> what are you even <laughs> talking reaction. about? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm not leaving anything out and um, and I'm not pretending to understand that. I can only say what happened to me and that did happen to me. And, uh, and then I was seized with this very intense desire to read the Bible, uh, which I then started without any study aids or anything. I bought a Bible that didn't have any. I, I'm not interested in editorializing in the Bible. I just want to read it and see what's in there myself. I have very low levels of trust for Christian pastors, most of whom, you know, I'm just not a fan at all. And uh, sorry to say that, but that's how I feel. And so I just didn't, I don't want to hear other people's opinions. I just want to see what's in there. And I, so I spent a year and a half reading it and then I started rereading it. And it was a, just a transformative experience for me, but I'm not, you know, holding myself out as someone from whom you could get theological advice because I'm sure, not. Of course, of course. I, mean, I don't know. I don't understand any of it. But Do yeah, you that think happened. God to me. allowed the demon. I have no idea what happened. All I know is, I was dead asleep with my wife and dogs, and I woke up with claw marks on my rib cage underneath my arms, and it didn't even make sense. My arms would anyway. Whatever. I'm not. No one has to believe me. I don't care. It doesn't matter. But that happened to me, Look. and uh, so I just was like, wow, that. That's real. Whatever that is, I don't even not sure what it is. It's but very yeah. real. And so then that presence of that evil yeah. launches something. And, and there, so interesting. It is very interesting. And there are people that are saying he should have kept this to himself. Why? You know, and he should, or show us like us. Even somebody here said, "Show us the scars." I don't believe him. I mean, I, 
I totally believe it. I don't know. Why would he say that out loud if he didn't? I, yeah. You know, that stuff happens. It's like, if you're not spiritual, then I can see how that would make you uncomfortable. But if you are, then you are kind of like, all right. I mean, there's good, there's evil and there's not, there's not. We do need to remind people to take care of their health. And if you need help doing that, for example, if you're not eating a lot of fruits and veggies during the day, which you know you should, everybody knows they should. I'm the know. problem. It's me. <laughs> you are the problem. Mm -hmm. This is the way to get the, the exact same kind of nutritional benefit. One. That Yes, that one is also good. From fruits and veggies in a delicious drink. It's just a green powder. You mix a scoop of it into eight ounces of water or smoothie or however you like it. And it makes a delicious juicy, yummy drink instead of plain old boring water. And instead of say a pile of broccoli, <laughs> like what's more fun to eat? I ask you this it's field of greens and field of greens has a better health guarantee. That's how much they believe in the fact that this product will actually make you feel better and it will improve your health. Like you'll literally see difference in your lab results. So get better health, visit field of greens by going to fog chicks, F O G chicks.com use code chicks. You're going to get 15% off plus free shipping on your next order of field of greens. Try it. You're not going to be disappointed. We both were like, ah, oh, field of a green we're like green powder. powder ew and then we were like yum ew. yeah and then we were like mm -hmm. how often are we allowed to drink this yeah. per day <laughs> exactly <laughs> so uh -huh. it's good stuff <laughs> like i i had something similar happen but i didn't get um i mean nobody hurt me nothing hurt me but i i've had sleep paralysis and have you guys ever experienced sleep paralysis and that's kind of what i attribute it to because i've always been a terrible sleeper but back when i was i think it was like early 30s Cause I'm, you know, in my fifties now, but when I was in my early thirties and when I lived alone, this is when I lived alone, I remember waking up, at least I feel like I woke up. This is what I thought happened. And I was, I could not move. I could not, <laughs> could not move. And there was something on top of me, like weighing me down. And it was something very scary. And I just remember that experience and it, like terrified me. And it was, you know, and as a spiritual person that made me cling closer, that made me get closer to God because that freaked me out. I thought this, whatever this is, is trying to get a hold on me. And I hmm. didn't allow that to happen. So, I mean, I kind of chalked it up at first. I was like, all right, I'm a pretty, like, I mean, I, I, I thought what is it the tangible thing in me? I thought, well, you know, I'm practical. So I thought, well, maybe it's just a sleep thing. Maybe it was just a nightmare. You know what I mean? But it felt really real, you know? Yeah. So I thought, I don't know. There was just, it, but, but listen, God works in mysterious ways, right? So even if, if well, it was real, but not real. He's not. And I, you know, I don't know why anybody is like demanding proof or whatever. He they doesn't want proof that yeah. if you believe him or not. Right. He doesn't. And he's not trying to gain anything from telling mm -hmm. the story. He's simply saying, yeah, this is a thing that happened. And right. I don't understand it. I, yeah. I have no idea. I don't know what to make of it. I'm trying to learn. And right. I don't know why anyone would take issue with that. That makes no sense to me. Yeah, I don't understand that either. And if that's like a kind of his testimony, I think it's a beautiful thing. You know, I everybody has their own their own path. Everybody has their own relationship with whether you choose to have a relationship with God, with Jesus or not. It's your, it's your choice. That's your choice. That's your path. So it's your journey. It's your journey. And I just <laughs> think, I think it's cool that he, I think it's cool that he's talking about it, you know, cause he's mm -hmm. like, I don't have, I don't have all the answers. I don't understand it. I'm just, it is what trying it to is. Learn. So trying to figure it all out. Right. Just like so, else. so good for him for talking yeah. about it, you know?